Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys 27 pregnancy hacks. And the first one is the famous elastic trick. By the way, this will definitely only work in your first or second trimester. I'm too big for this at 30 weeks so couldn't show it to you on me. Then for stretch marks, I've been using rosehip seed oil. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm at 30 weeks. I don't have any stretch marks. But also, please be aware that stretch marks have to do with your hydration as well as your genetics and not just what you slather on your skin, but it definitely can help. But this definitely sinks into your skin nicely and try to use it night and day for best results. Next one is dry brushing and this is something that just helps circulate your blood as well as help get rid of that cellulite and everything as you know you gain some weight. <laughs> now this is a belly support band and my hubby actually got this for me for Christmas. I do get back pain and everything so this just helps um, hold that weight in the front that keeps getting bigger and bigger. Next is some coconut oil and you really want to put it down there. I know that's maybe too much information for some of you, but it does help with vaginal tearing. So take care of that too. Now something that has been a life saving for me is this foam mattress and it really just takes the shape of your body and makes it more comfortable to sleep. I had a really really hard time sleeping before we actually purchased this and I was only going to do it for my side but then hubby wanted it too and now we both love it. So I tried the body pillow and everything but I thought it was a waste of money. Uh, so what has been really working great for me is just a throw blanket, putting it in between my head and my legs. Or um, you can try this little um, thing that you can put in between your legs. Or some people like to put it under their belly for support. Uh, but my favorite has been the throw blanket. Next up is hydration. I love these deflatable um, pouches I found on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys, but I carry it everywhere. And I also use this carafe, carafe, I think that's what you call it, um, by my bedside table for when I get thirsty during the night. And gotta keep those snacks in your bedside table as well, just in case you feel hungry or feel some morning nausea. Uh, it really just helps kind of get you ready and started for the day. Of course, feel free to pick any snacks you like. I also made some snack ideas for pregnancy to keep it healthy and keep your fridge stocked. So the next thing you want to do is get your greens in. And the best way to do this, I feel, is smoothies. I am a smoothie lover and this is a great one for hydration. It's spinach, some cucumber, some frozen banana. You can also add a piece of ginger in there, even if you have nausea or not, but it's great for you. Some frozen mango and some pineapple, and it's just super, super, super refreshing. Trust me on it. So I didn't want to invest any money in new bras. So I did buy these bra extenders. They're from Target, pretty sure, and they just have been a lifesaver. I realized one day that my bra was so tight, I couldn't wait to take it off when I got home. So this just really helps add that extra space there, and it just feels so much more comfortable, and I can actually wear my bra normally, which is perfect. If you guys have watched my pregnancy symptoms and cravings video, you would know I'm super dry in my nose, just stuffy and everything. So this bedside humidifier has allowed me to breathe. <laughs> and here's just my favorite sonogram of our, our baby to be. It was my favorite, so I look at it every day. 
Now the next one is some tea and specifically some red raspberry tea. So this is great for strengthening the uterus for more efficient contractions. It is caffeine free, but of course, if you're going to drink this, please ask your doctor first if it's okay. In general, I've been drinking a lot of tea, but I'm a tea drinker. I just make sure it's caffeine free. Next up is dates. They're super healthy for you, but also they help support dilation. And I like to make these sweet almond butter um, date treats and I keep them frozen. So I do have a recipe for that as well in another video. Now time for some light exercise during the pregnancy. Um, I haven't worked out as much as I should have, but I definitely think that keeping movement in your body is super great for you and for baby. So doing some lightweight exercises, just using your body is a great idea. Don't overdo it. You know your body than anybody else, so don't push yourself to the limit. And I didn't even realize my dog was sniffing my butt. This is like his new hobby. I guess all the hormones and new smells are just really interesting. If you can't do any exercise at all, I do think some light stretching is great, um, especially if you have back pain and you know body aches. It really kind of just helps make things a little bit better. I'm sure you guys know these yoga positions, cat and cow. This just helps baby get into the right position. And then my all time favorite is child pose because it's just so relaxing. This is definitely a weird one, kitchen tongs in your shower. But if you drop something and your belly's too big, you're gonna thank me later. And if you experience nausea, ginger is the way to go. Um, you can use ginger root, ginger ale, or ginger tea. I would say that ginger root is probably your best option if you want the healthiest option. So your skin definitely gets super itchy as your belly grows, your boobs are growing, so they're itchy too. So something that helps relieve that itch is coconut oil. So just slather it on. I especially love to do this after I get out of the shower. Hubby got me these underwear for Christmas as well, and they honestly have been a lifesaver. They are just cut, so they don't put pressure on your bladder, and I love them. Some slip-on shoes will definitely come in handy. It gets harder and harder to bend as your belly grows. So during the second trimester, I unfortunately had so many migraines and I tried ice cubes, which did relieve it a little bit. You can also do a cold compress instead. And what really helped as well was just a massage and really kind of releasing that pressure and doing this in a quiet, dark room was definitely what worked for me. So I'm sure you guys have those days where you just want to wear jeans and not maternity jeans because sometimes they can be uncomfortable. So the solution to this is a Bella band and this actually keeps your jeans up and covers the opening really nicely. So you definitely have to put a shirt over it that covers this as well. They make them in different colors but it's super wearable, super comfortable and this is what it looks like. To make rolling over easier when you sleep, have something with silk or satin. So I only have a bathrobe, but I think the best way that this would work is silk sheets or silk pajamas, just so you can move around easier. Don't fit into your clothes anymore. Everything's getting kind of small. Well, you can always steal your husband's, boyfriend's, or whoever you want clothes. I steal hubbies here. 
and they're super, super comfortable. I mean, maybe not the cutest, but you can slightly make it cuter by making your shirt a little bit tighter. Now time for some compression socks. So compression socks, um, they're designed to apply pressure to your lower legs, which helps maintain blood flow and reduce discomfort and swelling. And I use these while working as a freelance makeup artist, so I wouldn't die. Ladies, I cannot stress how important it is to take care of your teeth during this time. I absolutely love this Oral-B brush. It's super affordable as well as it just cleans your teeth really well. But also using a water flosser really helps uh, your gums because you are more prone to get gingivitis and just worse teeth when you're pregnant. Sad story, but so true. So I hope that you guys found at least one out of 27 pregnancy hacks super helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and mamas to be out there. I hope you guys have a very healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby and hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks again so much for watching. All my love.